Let's pray before we begin. Lord, please let us understand your word and put it in our hearts. May it shape our lives to be more like your Son. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Psalm 140 Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man, which imagine mischiefs in their heart. Continually are they gathered together for war. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent. Adder's poison is under their lips. Selah. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from the violent men who have purposed to overthrow my goings. The proud have hid a snare for me and cords. They have spread a net by the wayside. They have set gins for me. Selah. I said unto the Lord, Thou art my God. Hear the voice of my supplications, O Lord. O God, the Lord, the strength of my salvation, Thou hast covered my head in the day of battle. Grant not, O Lord, the desires of the wicked, further not his wicked device, lest they exalt themselves. Selah. As for the head of those that compass me about, let the mischief of their own lips cover them. Let burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into the fire, into deep pits that they rise not up again. Let not an evil speaker be established in the earth. Evil shall hunt the violent man to overthrow him. I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted and the right of the poor. Surely the righteous shall give thanks unto thy name. The upright shall dwell in thy presence. Matthew Henry Commentary on Psalms chapter 140, verses 1 to 7. The more danger appears, the more earnest we should be in prayer to God. All are safe whom the Lord protects. If he be for us, who can be against us? We should especially watch and pray that the Lord would hold up our goings in his ways, that our footsteps slip not. God is as able to keep his people from secret fraud as from open force, and the experience we have had of his power and care in dangers of one kind may encourage us to depend upon him in other dangers. Verses 8-13 to 13. Believers may pray that God would not grant the desires of the wicked, nor further their evil devices. False accusers will bring mischief upon themselves, even the burning coals of divine vengeance, and surely the righteous shall dwell in God's presence and give him thanks forevermore. This is true thanksgiving, even thanks living. This use we should make of all our deliverances. We should serve God the more closely and cheerfully. Those who, though evil spoken of and ill-used by men, are righteous in the sight of God, being justified by the righteousness of Christ, which is imputed to them, and received by faith, as the effect of which they live soberly and righteously. These give thanks to the Lord for the righteousness whereby they are made righteous, and for every blessing of grace and mercy of life. Please consider, how does this chapter apply to you? Thank you for listening. If you want to know more about Jesus and what the gospel means to you, then hit the video shown on the left of the screen and please don't forget to subscribe. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless your day. Hello, we are Mark and Pearl Lambert, and we are the ministers of Jesus Answers Prayers. If you like this ministry, please help support it. The link to donate is found in the description below. Thank you and God bless.